turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I So we're just on the way to the ferry and our driver has just dropped us off here to have a quick look at this abandoned Spanish building from I think he said uh, 900 years old before the Americans came and had a war and destroyed it. in Oslo, um, just an old Spanish settlement and the sea, the tide's in so there's no beach but you can see there's a lot of sand under there so it must be quite a nice beach. Um, really nice little stop off on the way to the ferry actually. So if you do end up in Oslo for one night I recommend just coming down here. You just head into town and opposite the 7-Eleven there's just a little street and then you can walk all the way to the end of it, only like 100 meters or so and it's just there. Gorgeous! to our boat bit and because the weather's been quite bad apparently and uh, the boat's delayed by a couple of hours so we're just hanging around um, got another hour and a half to wait so we're just gonna chill I'll probably get the drone out actually and fly around this beach because um, it's quite pretty and the boats are quite nice as well that we're going on ferry goes from Oslo to Bohol, Panglao Island, um, and it costs 1,000 pesos uh, each person to get there. It's like a two or three hour boat journey, um, but it does save a lot of time. Saves us going back up to Cebu to get over to the island, um, so it's definitely worth doing. We're on the ferry. It's really windy, so you might not be able to hear anything I'm saying, but the journey starts.
After that pretty rough boat ride, um, we got to our hotel in Tagliberian city on Bohol. Um, and we are both exhausted. Claire felt very, very sick. Um, she had a bit of seasickness on the boat, so it wasn't a great ride for her. I can honestly say though, um, don't do that journey unless you have a very strong stomach and you're not of a nervous disposition because the sea was incredibly rough. Some of the swell was like 10 foot high and we're there on this old wooden boat that bends and flexes and looks like it's going to struggle to stay up. Um, I mean we made it without any problems in the end but the, the thoughts are going through your head so I'd say that if you're going to get seasick don't do that route. Um, it's not a pleasant journey at all and it's about three hours long. Um, I'd probably recommend going down to Dumaguete and then over to Siki Hall that way and up to Bohol. Um, might cost a bit more and take a bit more time, but it, it would definitely save you a horrendous experience on the sea. It didn't help either that we've got the tail end of a typhoon um, today. So there's a typhoon uh, up in Manila and we've got the tail end of it, which made the seas and the wind a lot stronger than usual. Um, but we're glad we did it. It was an experience and now we're here in Bohol. So we're just going to relax tonight and then go and explore the island tomorrow. Um, we haven't decided if we're going to just hire a car with the driver or if we're going to rent a motorbike and do it ourselves. So we'll work that out, but you can follow us wherever we go tomorrow. So good night for now. And if you like this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave any comments. Um, it's all gratefully received. So bye bye.